hello viewers welcome all of you in alkas botany channel today we are going to learn peroxisome an important microbody present in plant cell i am dr alka inamdar in alkas botany channel please like share and subscribe the channel microbodies are present in the cytoplasm of a cell so they are known as cytosomes peroxisomes are small membrane enclosed cellular organelles containing oxidative enzymes that are involved in a variety of metabolic reactions including several aspects of energy metabolism they are considered as an important type of microbody found in both plants and animal cells they are identified as organelles by belgian cytologist christian d duve in 1967 after already been described first peroxisome to be discovered were isolated from leaf homogenate of spinach in the structure of peroxisomes they are found in abundance in photosynthesizing cells mm -hmm. and each such cell may contain up to 70 to 100 peroxisomes they develop from endoplasmic reticulum and their shape and size are variable they are found floating freely in the cytoplasm in close association of endoplasmic reticulum and mitochondria as well as chloroplasts within the cell they are among the simplest of eukaryotic organelles they exist either in the form of network of interconnected tubules called peroxisome reticulum or as individual micro peroxisomes they are variable in size and shape according to the cell and usually circular in cross section they range from 0.2 to 1.5 mu microns in diameter it consists of single limiting membrane of a lipid and protein molecules enclosing the granular matrix the matrix consists of fibrils or crystalloid structure containing enzymes there are peroxisomal enzymes approximately 60 known enzymes are present in the matrix of peroxisomes they are responsible to carry out oxidation reactions leading to the production of hydrogen peroxide the main groups of enzymes include urate oxidase d amino acid oxidase and third important is catalase now we come up to the functions of peroxisomes first important function is to break down hydrogen peroxide which is a toxic product peroxisome contain enzymes which use oxygen to remove hydrogen from organic substances and produce hydrogen peroxide the hydrogen peroxide if accumulated produces toxic effects on the metabolism due to which it is broken down by another enzyme called catalase in the peroxisome the enzyme catalase uses hydrogen peroxide to oxidize many substances like phenols formic acid etc as well as the enzyme converts excess hydrogen peroxide into water molecules and oxygen molecules are liberated in this reaction two molecules of hydrogen peroxide with the help of catalase broken down into two molecules of water and oxygen is released in the form of bubbles second one function of peroxisomes these are responsible for photorespiration in c3 plants in c3 plants under certain conditions in chloroplast glycolic acid is produced this glycolic acid is translocated to peroxisomes where it is oxidized by enzyme glycolic acid oxidase to glyoxylic acid in this process hydrogen peroxide is produced which is destroyed by enzyme catalase and glyoxylic acid is further utilized for the 
photorespiration process. This shows in C3 plants. Photorespiration is due to peroxisomes. Third one important function is peroxisomes are essential for the synthesis of plasmalogens which are important components of biological membrane. This is the reaction of photorespiration. This photorespiration is the respiratory process which is present in the leaves. Peroxisomes prevent the loss of energy during photosynthetic carbon fixation through recycling the products of photorespiration. A crucial enzyme called ribulose 1,5-biphosphate carboxylase and oxygenase that is a rubisco is necessary for photosynthesis catalyzing the carboxylation of ribulose 1,5-biphosphate that is RUBP. And this is the central reactions for fixation of carbon dioxide to form organic molecules. However, Rubisco, the name suggests, can also oxygenate RUBP using molecular oxygen, releasing carbon dioxide in effect, reversing the net result of photosynthesis. This is particularly true when the plant is exposed to hot, dry environment and the stomata close in order to prevent transpiration. When Rubisco oxidizes RUBP, it generates two carbon molecules called phosphoglycolate. This is captured by peroxisomes where it is oxidized to glycine. Therefore, it is shuttered between the mitochondria and peroxisomes undergoing a series of transformations before it is converted into a molecule of glycerate that can be imported into chloroplast to participate in the Kelvin cycle for photosynthesis. Thank you very much for the observing this video. Thank you.